Hi, this is Takehara channel. This blog is my English learning journey. I'm using some CD and vendors for our business products. Recently, I started using Cloudflare. We are hosting many websites on our platform, so we need to override a host header from CDN to the origin server request. Of course, Cloudflare also has origin rules, but it needs to contract to them an enterprise plan. It's costly for us. Check price. This one. A free plan is free. Pro plan is $20 per month. Business plan, $200 per month. But enterprise plan is custom. Price are not listed online, but it says about $5,000 per month. Other CDN vendors include the same feature on the base plan. So I looked out how I could make the same thing lower cost. First, I want to explain why I want to use it. The CDN relays the client HTTP request to the origin HTTP servers. So I had to set I want to use host name on the CDN service before I use it. And also I have to use the easy to manage host name for the origin servers. As I said at the beginning, I'm hosting many different names of HTTP servers on the same origin server. I made some figures re relating to CDN and origin servers. Okay. This one. Grant side is a user. CDN and origin servers. The CDN uh, receives a client device request and transfers request to the origin servers. At this time, this process used uses two host names. The, next one, uh, the front host name and the back backend host name. Users only need to know the front end host name. This one. For example, takeharaya.com. The CDN knows what link to the back end host name. By the way, some storage services cannot accept a request with another host name. The HTTP request includes much in visible information when sent to HTTP servers. It's called the HTTP header. The host name is one of them. Okay, check this page. Uh, this one. Uh, okay, next. Yeah. This red block is request headers. It has host value. In this case, local host colon 8000 is host name and port name, port number. Uh, every browser sends to HTTP server with HTTP headers. At this time, I prepared two storage services, Amazon S3 and Azure Storage. 
Each service cannot accept another host name than they provide it. Okay, check this. This is a Azure storage file. And this one, uh, Amazon S3 files. Okay. The Amazon S3 generated, generates two types of HTTP endpoints. If I create a CNAME record with that same name of the S3 bucket, they accept my HTTP request without changing the request host header value to S3 generated URL. But I don't use the specification this time. Uh, this page, uh, sorry, this page, Amazon, uh, zoom in. Uh, this is a Amazon S3 feature, virtual hosting of buckets. But I don't use it this time. This, we, we are, I, without this feature in, at this time. I create a new DNS record on Cloudflare websites only to use CDN for storage services. Let's get started. This one. I bought a new domain name, takeharaya.work for this pair. Okay. Ah, uh, DNS, I append a new record, Azure files, and, oh, sorry, oh, oh, yeah, windows.net, Sorry. Uh, type is C name. C name. Save. Mm. And next, uh, Amazon files. Type is C name. And uh, yeah, three. Uh, AP North East One. Okay. Save. Hmm. Hmm. It's busy. Uh, then I access those files with this new DNS net DNS. Uh, um, uh, this is uh, Azure. So I change uh, I change URL hostname. Uh, Azure files and there work. Enter. Okay. Look here in my URL. URI. I failed. Next, uh, Amazon S3 URL. Mm. Amazon files um, or work. Yeah, this request failed. Okay, failed too. Uh, this is uh, the specified bucket does not exist. Mm. Okay. 
Next, I will create new workers on Cloudflare workers. Uh, workers. Okay. Uh, oh, create service. Okay. Uh, name. Override. Host name. I use a HTTP router template. This case, this time. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll quick edit. Okay. But I remove, I delete all code. Uh, Then I will configure worker rules to connect between CDN websites and the workers. Workers. Okay. Uh, here, workers rules. I create new workers. Uh, right. Uh, master wires. Uh, work. work slash. Yeah. Use an asterisk character to create dynamic balance that match multiple URLs. Mm. Uh, I choose production code. Save it. What era? Okay. That's it. Let's access files via CDN again. This is a uh, Azure storage with CDN and custom hostname. Reload it. Yeah, I got an image files and here Amazon files, Amazon S3 with CDN and hostname is custom, custom, reload it. Yeah, I got image, perfect. How about this? I can access it this time. As a side note, the DNS CNAME record target value becomes to set anything because I made an override origin host name worker. This work worker has the same values in the source code. Hmm. Well, it's a Worker. Oh, sorry. I wrote a uh, host name mapping in this code here. This is a uh, origin host name. This is two. So, uh, website.
this value, I can change this value another host name. If I change this value, but I can access this file. Okay, try it. Save this. Takehara.com host Takehara.com is this site. It's my it's my page. But look here. I change the DNS target CNS target host name, but this code I can get I can get uh, this image file. This is easy to cache invalidate technique. And then Amazon S3 file I can get to. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, please hit like and subscribe. See you.